Hey, good evening. Thank you for joining me today as we talk about uh, Resurrection Sunday. I want to talk to you about, you know, why is Easter Sunday different every year? Many people don't get that very much of a thought, but it's, there's a reason why. And, and, of course, as a kid, I always didn't understand either why did you know, Easter falls on sometime in April, sometime in March. You know, I didn't know why. But as you study the Bible, the Semitic Bible, the sort of history, you can kind of find out why. But as we talk about the resurrection of, of Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, uh, it's, it's one of the most important days uh, in Christendom. Uh, that we celebrate everything that we believe hinges on uh, the resurrection Sunday and so it's very important for us, us to understand that when we start reading the scriptures we find that Jesus was resurrected the first day of the week which is what on Sunday which is the first day of the week of course the, the women went to the tomb the first day of the week the Bible describes that and so it's always you know so the church celebrates Easter on Sunday but let's talk about why is Easter change each year. Well, number one, uh, in 325 AD at the Council of Nicaea, the church decided that there needed to be a formula to decide when did Easter fall. They knew that Easter fell on Jesus, resur Jesus was resurrected on a Sunday. We understand that. But what they did was they took, they took the calendar and they took the, um, the, uh, the first full moon between March 21st I mean, excuse me, uh, it can, Easter can be anywhere between March 22nd to April 25th, okay? But it is the first full moon after the 21st of March. And, uh, and so this is why Easter falls on, um, on different Sundays in the month of March or the month of April. It's called the Paschal moon. And the word Paschal there is a, is a word, it's an Arabic word that means Passover. So we knew we know that uh, Jesus celebrated the Passover uh, a day before, I mean, a couple of days before the resurrection, and so um, so the first full moon after the twenty first. So it just depends, and so you know it doesn't really matter when Jesus you know was resurrected. We know it as long as he was resurrected, whether it's the first Sunday in April, second Sunday in April, the last Sunday in March doesn't really make a difference. As a church, we realize as long as the resurrection took place is what really counts because everything that we believe hinges on the resurrection. And so that is why that each, you know, each year it, it, it falls on different times. Now, there's, there's another religion that believes that Easter is a different time, but not in the time that we believe. But uh, as long as we understand that Jesus died, he was buried, and he was resurrected. That's the main focus. So when we talk about, you know, the first the first day that Jesus uh, entered to Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. On Monday, what happened on Monday? Jesus went to the temple on Monday, and there Jesus began to turn over the tables and chairs uh, in the temple. And there Jesus said, "My house should be called a house of prayer." So the first thing that Jesus did on that Monday is the first thing he went went to the temple and begin to get things in order because there were money changes there and they were there just, um, you know, lining their pocket and making extra money and people had to come and they had to exchange money and, and for to do what needed to be done or to buy animals, whatever. And so there was money changes there and their job was to line their pockets with money and also the priest was lining their pocket with money. And so the first, first Monday, of the week of the Holy Week is when Jesus went to the temple and there he cleaned the temple. So this is the first Monday. Tomorrow we'll talk about what happened on Tuesday. So thank you for joining me on this brief broadcast. Thank you.